I was talking to my teacher and I heard like five shots. So we quickly um, started the lockdown and we all sat by the desk. Gun violence shaking up Chinatown today and leaving an older man dead. The man was walking right in front of an elementary school. Elizabeth Matthews with the community in shock. This neighborhood still reeling from this tragedy. Another crime, another life, and still no motive. A prayer circle outside the Chinese Christian Union Church. The small group then walked around the block to the scene of the unspeakable crime. They be able to feel your peace, Scott. They lit candles where a 71-year-old man was brutally murdered Tuesday afternoon. Pray for hope and, and healing for uh, the victim and his, his family. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we're here to pray for the children who were just rocked and shaken by today. Police say the elderly man was walking on the sidewalk when he was shot. It happened across the street from Haynes Elementary School. I was actually at recess. I was by the gate of the shooting and what else um, my my teacher told me that her dad got shot. Malaya White says she heard 13 shots fired. Then they all ran inside screaming and crying. Her older brother also goes to Haynes, but was unaware of what had happened. On the announcer, they said lockdown, and really a lot of people were scared, but we thought it was a fake practice. Police tell us someone driving by opened fire, striking the victim. Then the shooter got out of the car and fired again. The victim died at a nearby hospital. The school went on lockdown, which lasted all afternoon. Kids in classrooms, the lights off, the blinds closed. It was really dark. People were, my friend was crying and panicking. Some people, like I said, some people were on their phones. Others, well, the teacher, she was terrified as well. She was just sitting next to the children. She wasn't saying a thing. Police arrested one suspect and recovered a weapon. They were caught on the Kennedy Expressway near Jackson, a 10 minute drive from the shooting scene. It's scary. It's real scary. Like, it's a lot of that going on in Chicago, and something needs to be done. I don't know what, but they need to figure it out. It's too much. Like, and this was too close to home for me, so like, it's, this is real scary. Residents here in Chinatown say that they need something to change. What they'd like to see is a larger police presence. In Chinatown, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.